Hi Aries, mm, you are the last of all my zodiac signs for the 29th to the 5th of July. And I had 19 likes from you and thank you very much for the likes. If you would like to be the first zodiac sign then please keep on pressing those thumbs up. And um, my cyber angels, thanks for coming back and being loyal. I do appreciate it and I, I hope you will enjoy the reading. I will uh, do the news and updates at the end of the video so please stay right up to the end and then you won't miss out. I've had some complaints about from people that my intros are too long so I'll do the intros vice versa at the end. Okay, I'm using the um, Shadowland Tarot, that's the one that's in the competition uh, because we've got a competition going and I'm doing the weekly forecast for the 29th to the 5th and welcome to anybody that's accidentally landed on this channel and I hope you will enjoy it. Remember it's a general reading and take away from it what you can. If it doesn't resonate look at your moon sign or your rising sign. This is the Querent card. I'm just pretending you're right in front of me. Um, or the overall energy. You, it's up to you what you would like to this card to be for you. Um, then we have Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday and the corner cards and they clarify the three cards around it. All the three cards around it clarify the corner card. I'm also going into the uh, Mystical Sharma deck Oracle cards and also I will take the Quirin card or the overall energy as the Chakra card. So it is really an extensive reading. I've already been busy for about three days because they are extensive and I'm working with the book uh, Tarot and the Chakra. You know that I do work with the Angel Angelic Chakra uh, system but this is the Reiki system. So let's get started. First of all Aries you have the Chariot. You've got victory. You are um, a hero or a heroine. <laughs> You're the hero in the picture today. <laughs> and you go, are going onwards and upwards. You might get promotions, you've got public recognition like I said and that's why people have you in uh, keep an eye on you because they want to do or be like you to be successful. You might find there is a promotion or there could be a new love as the chariot also represents cancer. Okay, now you might be moving home, you might be moving in together, you might um, 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 go on holiday and with something that has wheels. That can be a car, that can be an aeroplane. When I started my tarot I said wheels and I forgot th that, the <laughs> that the aeroplane, every time I see this card that I forgot to say the aeroplane because the aeroplane has wheels to take off how dumb can you get? <laughs> anyway, sometimes you just have to have fun. And I do, these cards m make me giggle when I'm sitting here on my own making the videos for all my viewers. Then you have the Hierophant. And that's number five. You might be out of balance, but the chariot is number seven. And that means luck. You might seek advice or you might be the advisor since you have victory and are the champion. Um, you might be giving advice to others. Like I said, people are looking up at you because you've got recognition, public recognition at that. So you might be the advisor this week, but you might be seeking advice about something. So let's see what is in your reading that you might be seeking advice about because the Hierophant is also a spiritual man so you might be uh, uh, very sensitive as we have just come into Cancer and that is um, an emotional sign, it's a water sign like Scorpio and uh, like Pisces and Pisces is the most um, 
spiritual one because it also represents the moon sign so uh, they are spiritual people they use their intuition they work on their feelings they work according to their feelings okay so you might need some spiritual guidance who knows so this could be a father figure or a mature man or a professional man at that like somebody that works for institutions because he's the hierophant he's the the head of the church so that is an institution as well but he also knows the letter of the law and that could be mean that you might have to go to an institution or a municipality and seek advice you've also got the ace of pentacles the ace of pentacles means that there is a new beginning could be a new job could be a, a promotion the next level up you could meet a, 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 a Virgo or a Taurus or a Capricorn that might be a new relationship and this relationship will last because it has durability and usually the pentacle peoples the earth people go for the duration and long term you might actually be going on holiday with one of these people okay the hierophant also represents Taurus so it could be that you might be going on holiday with a Taurus okay or a cancer right then on Friday we have the four of swords this is also taking time out pausing resting need to uh, meditate or contemplate and think on which step you're going to take first or which first step you're going to take which is the one that's most interesting if you get all these job offers perhaps you might need advice on that you might even be going on holiday with a Scorpio by the way if you do contemplate or meditate evaluate the situation at hand or the question and you have the death card at the weekend no you're not going to die at the weekend God forbid no the death card means that you're in a transformational period and of course you are because you've just come to an end because you've got the victory you're the champion so you've reached the end of something also uh, where there is an ending there's a new beginning and that's confirmed on Wednesday with the ace of Pentacles it's the same with the death you're leaving the old behind and you're moving into a new phase you're no longer the caterpillar you are the butterfly 13 is 4 so it will be stable something will be built on proper foundations 13 is also fellowship in the I Ching the yin and the yang so you might be making more friends especially in this new beginning it could be with a Scorpio it could be with a cancer it could be with an earth sign and that is Taurus Virgo Capricorn and Taurus foremost um, as they uh, there is an, a special card saying Taurus representing Taurus now we're going on to the corner cards and first of all look you've got boom money the ten of pentacles now you can afford to go on holiday perhaps you've already got this new job and the ending of financial difficulties and new beginnings to money money's coming in the ten of pentacles represents happy families reunion with family and friends number 13 I could also mean that you might receive a gift from somebody in the family or a friend perhaps an inheritance or a lottery or you have won the scratch cards whatever you might have had a pay rise you might have landed that job that you wanted at long last and you've got victory something a permanent contract not one for six months or two months or part-time but full-time real work contract whether you work part-time or not you are really working but you don't have to have two part-time jobs perhaps you've just got one concrete job 
that's what it feels to me like okay now you're leaving the old behind this could be the routine of two jobs or a part-time job to get to the full-time job to and that's my you might want advice on that from a professional what will it mean tax wise for me what will it mean to my family what will it mean if I want to buy that house because the house is for durable is durable and is for long term it might be your second house because I see two spiders that represents the horses coming together okay wow really beautiful you're going into something new you might be signing contracts at a notary public or an advocate for the house okay or you might be signing a contract <coughs> for a new job excuse me then you have the chariot again so cancer is also predominant besides the um, Taurus okay so again you are going could be moving home or going on holiday you've got victory you are like Pegasus rising from the ashes the, no no not Pegasus that's the horse Pegasus but the Phoenix rising from the ashes look at his flames they're on fire like the Phoenix New, you're coming out stronger and more powerful and more determined now to verify um, you've you've you, you've contemplated about it so you know what you're doing you're going for what you want onwards and upwards and you're going into a new place and the chariot does mean moving home and going or going on holiday but so does the knight of wands you're going to get news when he arrives with this news this knight of wands the knight of fire you will have to take swift action Aries um, otherwise it will pass your nose uh, uh, otherwise it will pass your nose by I don't know this is what I'm saying trans literally translating it from Dutch uh, I've done so many so much talking and so many readings that I can't even formulate my sentences anymore um, don't let it pass you by that is what I'm trying to say okay act upon it swiftly just like he take action boom with swift or you might be needing a fire sign like um, the earth signs the, the night stands for Aries Leo and Sagittarius okay you've got a lot of people in your reading okay now this is a new beginning and he's coming to tell you you've got the contract go and sign it you've got the house you've got the job you have victory now we're going to the Queen of Cups the Queen of Cups um, the, the King of Cups is Cancer the Queen of Cu uh, Cups is Scorpio again don't um, exclude Cancer or Pisces but you've got Scorpio twice like um, the Cancer twice um, and also Taurus twice really because he's an earth sign okay so she is a nurturing lady she loves to take care she stands for love passion sexuality sensuality nurturing caring so you might uh, get a job in care or you might meet this cancer or Scorpio if that is what you wish a new passion but make sure it's going to last so know the boundaries of your own boundaries and that of the potential partner or the partner if you have a partner um, and take care of each other and converse with each other then it will remain a happy family and together you will have that money to buy that house okay be strategic like the fire sign okay 
So that was this week's reading. And the Queen, she's nurturing. So, yes, take her on holiday. Take her on holiday. Go away. This relationship is also a gentle relationship. Okay? Because the water signs are nurturing and gentle. Just like the pentacles, like Mother Earth, the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. Now you have the card of the mystical shaman deck and that is number 54 so something is 9 is coming to an end I'm seeing a bird here so make sure you get a different perspective when you contemplate the best perspective that you can get and if not seek advice and you have the sweat lodge that is to clench yourself it's just like meditation or contemplation cleanse yourself from the old so you can move into the new make room for the new big new things are happening the message of the um, sweat lodge is the sweat lodge represents the womb of the mother earth volcanic stones are heated in a fire outside then brought into the lodge and placed in a shallow hole in the center Partici participants sit in a complete darkness around the red hot stones to sweat away old habits and beliefs and heal diseases when you return humbly to the womb of the mother you are offered a second chance so there might even be a reconciliation that you've worked so hard that you have the victory with one of these signs if they were your partner there will be reunions and happy families reunions boom this is the time inward to go inward into the dark and hidden places of your soul to reconnect with the ancient earth wisdom you can also create a sacred and intimate space in the dark by lighting a candle be romantic observe what emerges and without judging it invite it to bring you its gifts you are being offered an opportunity to shed and heal from the aspects of your life you have outgrown do not worry that you will be consumed by process you will be consumed by process and get victory boom love it now we're going into the chakra card now the tarot i've chosen the chariot because that's the querent card or the overall energy card and this is the first time i'm getting uh, uh the chariot and this is the second time i'm getting a major arcana card so it is slightly different to uh, minor arcana cards and i will show you why because not because it's only the big arcana but you they all split up in sections you've got the court cards as the king the queen and the knight and the page then you have the minor arcana the aces are separate as well and the major arcana so the first sign that you have so let's have a look is this sign and i think that is the third eye so let's have a look I'm still learning this is the first week that I'm doing this so um, let me have a look I'm always losing this page so bear with me I need to get the planetary thing let's the ether chakra it's the ether chakra now I'm going to go a little bit more extensive with this because this is a new chakra sorry about that but that's uh, what how I learned by actually doing it and you've got the chariot then you've got the element like it says here there's the major arcana you've got the element so the element is ether okay and then you have the 
sub element and that is fire then you have the touch and the touch is you can see here the touch let's have a look this is the table of the planets the table of the astrology and the table of touch there's three symbols for touch and you've got this one okay that is rocking rocking the rocking touch and it is cardinal a cardinal sign then we go back and this is cancer because chariot is re represents cancer and then you've got the chakra so I'm going to go into it a little bit deeper um, I did that with the, the first air sign as well and the fire it's been overall fire and air uh, energy so the short list in the short list it says ether um, and that's the astrolog uh, astrologically reflex area the entire wheel of the zodiac the color is blue art is music the chakra is the throat and the sound is ham and then we also have the chariot gaining control getting one's act together well you got your act together confidence triumph overcoming obstacles by will the element is water because that's cancer anatomy is the chest and astrology is cancer and the muse is change induced growth okay now I'm going to read a little bit more about um, ether so just bear with me the element ether and this is really all astrologically uh, done as well so if you are an astrologer or a yoga teacher or whatever even if you were, uh, read the cards themselves it is a very nice book because it gives you so much depth ether what is ether then this is not a subcategory or a halogenated ether in an organic chemistry this would also be something for the pagans or witches in metaphysical wisdom systems ether is most often uh, equated with space itself the divine the cosmos the ether element is unique in that it is not associated with one part particular zodiac sign it is associated with the entire wheel of the zodiac and all the elements are expressed through this realm qualities associated with ether is element are silence space openness ether is the container of all elements meaning it is the starting point for the four other elements and the space from which they in emanate ether is silence through which we are able to hear our inner guidance that's our spiritualism our high self as well this is the place between sounds in nature the ether element is experienced as wide open spaces as a mountain top or a middle of a body of water an empty room cathedral or a large lobby in the physical body the ether element represents the throat and the ability to swallow it is also joints and the cranial sacral system that's like the crown by the crown system because it is all about space the ether element manifests through the throat and the ma metabolism of the thyroid gland the element is beginning of the manifestation of the physical body and sound vibration that relates to the sense of hearing and music when touching the body the ether element energy will feel like an elongation in the tissue 
emotionally we will find profound cosmic joy and self-expression with the ether element it gives the ability to express all emotions most specifically grief Conf confers the ability to return to spirit we can listen to be uh, and be presented with an ether element so that is in is in the chariot so you have the element ether and the sub element is fire okay now here we go the three upper chakras the major akana chakras so that is an upper chakra that is how important this chariot is in the major akana the sub element is water astrology cancer compassion and anatomy is the pelvis and we were talking about mother birth the womb so that is also in the pelvis this is amazing see how it comes together so you're going into the sweat lodge to start afresh the chariot represents a calm and confident way of taking control it is determined and steadfast and takes the initiative the ch uh, in yes initiative the chariot overcomes in interior and helps you to connect it is consistent and focused on overcoming obstacles advice take the reins in your hands and control the journey of the chariot stand up for your beliefs this takes effort and control the story an Egyptian tomb depicted reliefs of warriors riding into battle on chariots drawn by horses historians believe that the chariot was the key to the Egyptian Pharaoh's military success the Pharaoh's men first borrowed the, the domestic domestication of horses from their neighbors then they built sophisticated chariots designed for efficiency and speed to be pulled by the horses the invention of the chariot revolutionized technology and led the Egyptians to victory well we that is the story so take the reins in your own hand and if you in other words if you don't know if you can't come out of your ideas or uh, what you have to do next what is your next step ask for advice okay from a professional or a father figure or a mature man especially when you're buying a house for the first time okay so that is awesome now for the fire signs this also goes into dietary this uh, things uh, like I said this book is also for pagans healers yoga teachers uh, people that want to take care of their bodies and uh, yeah uh, the air science is mainly fruit and uh, the watery uh, and the, cu the cups uh, the water science is mainly um, uh, uh, lettuce and watermelon cantaloupe um, and greens cucumbers pe um, vegetables with a lot of uh, water in it now we had the water so anything like that or honeydew berries green beans that is what you can use to eat healthily okay and Aries you're a water uh, fire sign so you are more to barley and grain and wheat products like quinoa that is also a product corn oats barley chickpeas rice millet black beans pinto beans and wheat those are the foods that are advised for you I hope you have enjoyed this reading and I hope um, you will join me in the live sessions I go live Monday Wednesday Friday and I put out notifications on Facebook and Instagram and in the community tab on YouTube a couple of hours before then I know that I can really be there at a certain time just 
have a look in the community tab I don't know whether you get notified if I put a message out in the community tab you might do but I did have a lot of viewers saying they're not getting notified make sure that if you when you subscribe that you hit the bell on the choice of all otherwise you will not be notified I have loved doing this reading for you thank you very much for all your likes please continue to give me the likes and the shares or the channel rather and show your appreciation and I do go live and I give out free cards but I also answer questions that are supported by a donation that's a super chat or a super sticker and don't forget that you can always you're more than welcome to connect with me through email and ask for an extensive reading you can find all the information below this video and you can click on the white circle with the eye for more information which takes you to the website and there you can see all the uh, videos interviews reviews uh, updates and readings and services that I provide thank you very much and if you would like to be number one to receive your reading as the zodiac sign then please share and keep on liking take care be blessed and stay safe my little victory and hero or heroine champion that's the better word okay ciao ciao champions